you guys were coming up with the name Kez the Ban? Hmm. Like, I know it's a family, it's a family group, yeah. Um, band, so why them say, well, let's just right? Name That's it a good question. Group. That's actually a very good question because it really wasn't my idea, mm. actually. So, uh, my biggest brother, Hans, used to play drums. He, um, so he was really the one who was like forming the band. He's the one that, that when we were kids, we were really uh, young kids, he was had the idea of us becoming a little band. So, in those days, too, when we did Soka, we started Soka. We were part of another group called Image and Company. Image and Company. And okay. they were under different, you know, different management. Mm-hmm. But we really wanted to do our own thing. So we left that band. But people knew me, my name. So instead of starting over from fresh, mm. Hans was like, yo, let's name them Yeah, Kess. because you were in a group KLS, right? K-L-E-S, right? Like, no, K-L-E-S, but I was in school and I yeah. was in Yeah, okay, so I knew time. you were already in yeah. like, doing In the music, music yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So Kesty Band started, like we were already rolling. We started mm-hmm. a new, kind of came back to us, mm-hmm. you know, and the brothers. So they said, let's call it Kess. And I was like, you sure, boy, you sure? And... So he called. Wait, it, are you the youngest or the? Yeah, the, yes, I am the youngest <laughs> boy. So they say Kess, and I was like, "All right, cool, I understand." Mm-hmm. But then you know, of course, in our genre, we we you will sing with a DJ or you sing with the band. Yeah. So people will be like, "Who performing? Kess or Kess and the band? Which one?" So Kess and the band, Kess the band, nah, Kess the band performing, and so that became now something like people oh. say, "Oh, let's Kess the band, Kess mm-hmm. the band, Kess the band." So because we kind of like we we really wanted we are a band you know mm-hmm. yes it's me in the front and mm-hmm. i sing the songs but we came out from that band era you know those rock yeah. bands and reggae bands and uh, you knew these players you know yeah like a brother like, i don't want to say i'm um, like the the partridge family like, it's like a family band. van like, trop yeah, the van trop yes. family <laughs> van Hila, and all, of, yeah. all of these groups as those families yeah. and you knew you know so you know we we, we kept our vibes going and cast the band just Form out because even when you do like other projects, it's Kes, but then when it's your family, it's Kes the band. So, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess when the band is playing live yeah. more than anything else, mm-hmm. so we're doing the show, you know, it's Kes the band because it's really all of us. Mm-hmm. Um, you could it's Kes, KTB, Kes the band, however, anybody want to choose okay. to call it, you okay. know what I mean? So, Cause when we start, see, start making name a couple years ago, music like them say Kes the band, Kes the band, we just see one person, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Going on here, but yeah, you get to understand and learn more. And yeah, to say it's a whole band, you know, exactly. You know, yes, band yes. Yeah. So, yes. when you, you, so you're you, the family is that you guys all work with other people too, right? Like, it's not just like limited to working as a family, like you, your brothers, they play for other so artists. No, 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 or strictly, we're a band, so it's okay. kind of like, yeah, it's like you knew the basis of you know mm-hmm. it's like when bob and, and and everybody was in the band yeah jimmy and everybody or tosh and everybody was there you know you you knew everybody you know what i mean mm. so it so for me it, it's like that you know that's how the band is you know the drummer you know the the, the dj you know the guitarist you know the bassist mm. so it's so it's that it's that vibe so okay. so they don't well they wouldn't really play with other bands and mm-hmm. stuff like that it's mm-hmm. really just okay yeah okay. Like everybody in the band went to school the music um no not necessarily all of us all of us really learned by air of course secondary school we had a bit of formal training you know i was mm, no. sing classical no, like and you guys are geniuses and, then <laughs> yeah you know but yeah. you know music will bring us together after mm. school you know everybody doing music in their own form and fashion and yeah we just grew from shank to shank, you know, from kids to now. So you guys always wanted to be a soca band. Like, did you guys experiment with other sounds of music? Or you we guys didn't, always we didn't start in soca. Mm. We started in rock. Mm. So our first song as kids was a punk rock song. Mm. You know, like when we were kids in Palmis. South like Trinidad. angsty. I feel like an angsty 90s vibe. Like, yeah, okay. 80s, you know, <laughs> 80s. we were 80s. Yeah. <laughs> so we had, um, rock was huge. And yeah. You know, we didn't have a drum kit. My brother's gonna make a drum kit with buckets and thing, you know. Wow. And father see us and you know, feel sorry for us and buy a second hand drum mm. and we had a little concert in the backyard for for school kids. So we just so true rock we 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 did a few things and then I personally broke off from my brothers and went to do R and B. So I used mm. to sing in a mm. group in school. Mm. And during school that that would pay for books and things like that, you know mm. what I mean? 
So, so and wait, then, like in, when, when you're in high school, like yeah. you guys actually got shows? I was gigging. Like, so like really? weddings or, wow. uh, you know, fashion shows yeah. or tea party or whatever it what was. was. What was the go-to song? Um, hmm, well, we used to sing like a group. So we had, what ones we used to do well, boy? Original or covers? We used to do boats. Okay. But covers, no, I remember we did, you know, Roll my life. Boop, Pray for someone like you. <laughs> and I said, okay, let me not. I owe them money. I owe them money. <laughs> I owe them money. Just grab and shit, don't worry. Owe them money. You know what I mean? And the girl's like, oh my God, yes. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> I owe them money, Casey and Jojo. I owe them. Yeah. But you know, that, that taught me the business and music from mm. a young age. Mm. And then uh, my brothers and I came back together because there was this cover band competition, a rock band competition. Mm. And we wanted in to Trini. enter in Trinidad. Mm. And they wanted to do Bohemian Rhapsody. But they had to get all the parts. But we were, the, we were a group already and we could do them things, you know. So he had the rock band going already and we just came together and did the show but the Bohemian Rhapsody was the one that won everything for us. I actually did that. Mm-hmm. That's a very and, complicated. You know I mean? <laughs> exactly. But as kids, you know, we yeah. laid it up, we broke down the parts, we knew all them things, you know? Wow. Yeah. And then um and then everybody kind of shave off and the, us me and my brother just remained doing it. Mm-hmm. And we were going to Soka after that. So Soka became I was 19, 20, mm-hmm. you know? Now getting into Soka and So so is and, that because you didn't see a future doing that the r and b's or is it you know i mean there really was no opportunity for Unlock for a, a, as, as kids in Trinidad and yeah. you know you wasn't getting through just that unless you're living outside you know yeah. there had no internet for anybody to see you or anything like that was almost by necessity sort of because the group that we joined was image and company and bef- before that they were second image they actually was really big in the soccer scene here in jamaica too and um their style was similar in a sense. They would have rock guitars in their soca songs. Their songs were a little more hybrid. So we felt that we could we could dig that, you know, mm. we could be a part of soca, but in our own form. Cause they were open to we didn't have brass men, you mm. know, but we had distortion. So instead of so the frenzy with the brass, we get with distortion too and make it song soca as well. So at yeah. first we were strange to people because it was like, yo, this rock man playing soca, you know. Yeah. It's like these little white boys they're calling me, you know, because yo, <laughs> playing soca and thing. Yeah. But for us, you know, we we you still keep any groove. We, we were forming a new vibe, and now it's standard, you know. Yeah. I think it. I think that's a big thing to do, or that that played a big part in why. You are, are you, you reach where you reach you now. Like, even we know your name, we know, you know, two another soccer so, yeah. scene like that. I think that's part of the reason why, you know, you're able to make it as big as you are because you're able to mix up certain things while keeping mm-hmm. it soccer as well. That is it, and it's all stuff that we all grew up to. We mm-hmm. all we yeah. was talking about outside, and you know, we fall asleep to, to Biggie Smalls and, yeah. and everybody, you know. And we all grew up listening to the same music, and I feel like the younger generations found ways to to add different dimensions to soca yeah. Yeah. sonically and even topic wise and so even when you were coming up and you know you did different uh you, you tried different ways to mm. make the soca like were, did you get pushback like from plenty people? Yeah. yeah it was yeah. it was difficult because mm. me i too didn't find the mix yet mm. Mm. so i was sort of like in two worlds i had like a pop world i was going to la i was mm-hmm. working with songwriters from around the world mm-hmm. and i had a soca side which was me trying to push soca because there's certain parameters within soca you know you yeah, yeah. car you have to still be true to the function of soca yes but yet sort of stretch it in any ways that you can yeah whether it be sonically or what you sing about yeah. you know um and you have to do that cleverly you know yeah. while people drinking yeah like catch them you know <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we never yeah. realized that you guys yeah. love the drinking <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but it is a challenge as a, as a songwriter yeah. and stuff it is a challenge especially if you're doing other stuff yeah still not, um so for me i had two worlds going on mm. i had stuff where i was working with big songwriters from around the world fellow who did david bowie album and t- like everything but then i still fighting up to get airplay in trinidad you know because yeah. my music a little weird or a little different or something and it was i was at it for 10 years mm, wow. and and then what less came 
what less was the song yeah. in, in 11 that really kind of break over. us in yeah. the soca world more mm-hmm. and then i still was doing everything else and then within now i just bringing it all in one sound to yeah. get off for me ah we're taking a break out of this podcast to big up our sponsors pure 24 it's time to buckle down summer is approaching i really need to think about making better choices pure 24 is an easy and delicious choice when it comes to getting your body what it needs mm-hmm. as we say summer is approaching so anything you can do to boost your immune system is a definite plus and you can do that with one scoop of their powders a sip of their tea or even some of their yummy gummies you don't know say so can visit their website at pure24store.com their product ship all across the world and you can use the code fix to get 15 percent off all purchases that's the code the fix to get 15 percent off all purchases cancer to fix the do not view and to be honest i gotta i gotta extol the virtue of pure 24 because um especially when i did see the other day Mm -hmm. and when i went out to i love soca recently i used a restoration mix in my um green blend and it was super effective so for this party season i i can really and truly recommend their restoration mix I don't know. It's Gatorade in powder. I don't know. <laughs> With the electrolytes and one bag of things. But it really did help. So, yeah. I could I could recommend that for real. Testimony. Mm-hmm. One question I definitely wanted to ask is, when you're creating a song, do you do it with the thought that, hey, let's make the biggest song possible or be a soca song possible? Yeah, the humble yourself so much. Boy, it, is, it, just, it doesn't feel good. Mm. If it's just feeling good, where it go afterwards, not up to you. You mm. know, it's sort of like it had a knock. And anything that knocked, that felt good, whether the music, whether the moment when we're creating it, what we're talking about, yeah, to have a thing in there. Mm. Mm. Now your mission is you would see the final product, but you had to walk towards it then. Yeah. You know, and no shortcuts, no gassing up yourself or no like if we're not there yet we're not there yet so even when so when what list came when you know you created it uh-huh. I, I mean, didn't know you didn't know so I think that, that was experience too okay so because cause I was like was the the so community again in Trinidad where they're like oh this is it this is it this, I, 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 I you know because at that point in time I tried so hard and I didn't get a break breakthrough hit I mm. had hits that was bubbling people knew but I didn't have that breakthrough hit mm. I was kind of jaded Mm. I was actually wanted to give up soca. To be honest, wow. I, I find that so hard to believe because like yeah. so is it that you weren't is it just because the sound that they didn't agree with or what? No, was no, the I thing? just I, I I think it's a combination of things. I think for one, I still didn't get the formula correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I too needed a lot of things to learn. Mm-hmm. And and as well to doing ready for the mixing mm. of genres. Not like now where it's it's real fluid, you know, mm. but in those days, who was listening to dancehall? Who was listening to reggae? Who was listening to rock? All these were separate worlds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's real abomination to sort of mix those things together. But yeah. we, we grew up doing that. So, mm-hmm. you know, we take the heat for it. Yeah. But yeah. it's easy now, now. It's easy. Yeah. You said you wanted yeah. to give up though. So, yeah. So I, I, I did. Um, I, I, I'd reached, I remember that year. Um, that year, actually, Marshall didn't he took a break off of that year and you know mm-hmm. he's definitely dominating the scene at the time and we had a year where we were we had to step up you know it gave us our room as well mm. to sort of step so we, we were closing party we're doing real good holding we own mm. you know in a way you find your space you find I, was, people I was getting yeah. a, a definite groove and i think you know i could finally we'll be treated with a little more respect and a mm. little more not from peep, the people, you know, from the industry, and mm. not not peers either. It's more like promoters and you know, game yeah. conditions and shows that make sense and thing. And the season was done, and we felt we did well. Boo, we get like we still getting the same treatment, and we still get. And I was like, I doing this so long, boy. I just whatever, mm. and I did a pop album, and I just was like, I whatever come, I don't care. And then Kevin Dubois, which is another soca artist and producer heard some clip we were playing and some live show and he loved it so much he said yo let me do something and i was like yeah sure i'll fuck it i come in let me go i'm going up mm-hmm. so i went up to toronto it was snowing 
I was like, let me do, let me do something, whatever. I don't care. Like right now, I don't, <laughs> do not you weren't care. even trying to be a soaker. I was worthless. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. whatever. Let me, we have it. We have, we have. <laughs> and he take and he play it and stuff. And then out of that came worthless and mm. came a thing. And even then, I was like, that's a nice song that the old people will like, you know? Yeah. They will like this one. The older folks. Cool. Yeah. I like a song. Song a nice man. Song yeah. a nice. And I played it for friends, and they're like, dude. This is your song. Mm. Are you for real, boy? This must I, wait. I do songs with David Bowie producer and this one and that one and this is my song. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like what? And that humbled me to a real way because mm. that song opened up Jamaica mm -hmm. for me. Afterwards, I worked with TJ Rhythms. I worked with Bambino and them, and I had big songs out of those rhythms, mm. you know. And because of what less, what less was playing in New York and stores and stuff, and mm. I was like, yo what we have home that is we think mm -hmm. we had a hole into that mm. so I, got, I started to respect soca in a different way mm. and not judge it for its limitations mm. and started to say well how can i now take what i know in any pop world and now put it in the soca and that sensibility in it mm. whether mm. playing it live or creating it mm -hmm. and keep the roots like it could groove still now yeah. they're too yeah. far out it, it enough still you know and i guess kept on trying to do that up that's, to a, now. that's what you said was so insightful a while ago like you know like to not judge it because you mm. felt like it wasn't adapting to you but you just realized that you just had to humble yourself and just Ex figure it out exactly like, yeah. what it is mm. and then it's power and then i go into the history of it so like mm. within the pandemic as well as not studying stop learning yeah. i went and i studied music history right mm. and the professor i knew so train with him he always had facts you know like yeah. different facts about trainees in history with music so he had a music program and I went and I did it online. But he had a Trini perspective to show us. Mm. And you know, I learned too as well that that um Headley was the first person a Jamaican to make the electric guitar. Ooh, you know, yeah, he yeah. was the one of the yeah, first to actually yeah. before the patterns of Fender or whatever. Mm. He he did it a decade before. Wow. And I this is that. Jamaica, you know. So we don't know about ourselves. Yeah. Mm. So I started to get to know about where this come from, what page are in the story. Mm. And that they have the elements there, yeah. you know, that could apply now. And so you're basically learning on the job, <laughs> learning on we the are. job <laughs> <laughs> all the time. I mean, <laughs> in reverse. You know, you, I mean, and just to to continue what you said, because we here in Jamaica, we have, I guess, the argument ad nauseum about like trap hall and trap dance hall. Mm -hmm. Is it whatever, whatever? But what you say is to keep the core of it. So how you how you explore your creative ideas mm -hmm. and, and you know you wanting to incorporate new sounds and like grow and innovate the genre mm -hmm. but still keeping to that core like how how you how is there anybody that you have to connect mm -hmm. with or is just like you know instinctively now like it's how it feel core. right here so yeah. i feel it right here mm -hmm. you know wherever that is mm -hmm. you just had a feel it had a feel in alignment with it yeah and i don't care where it sound like what where it go mm -hmm. there's just something about certain things that attract me mm -hmm. and i it's never proven me wrong yeah. yet mm. you know we've had songs that knock and now does the things that i know it would do you know because of what it felt for me yeah i had the first time hearing it or first time you know catching unlocking whatever the song is so when like, was that moment when you you you, you figured out the formula as you, as you say you were trying to figure it, out it's a real funny thing uh. Oh, well, I, I still figuring it out, but I feel like f Hello was a good mm. step in the direction of where I wanted to go. Because yeah. that song, you know, I remember I was in an airport, um, a, a elevator, and this man come inside, and um, I don't know how we ended up, him, him ended up, oh, it was in Soka Cruise, and he was like, you sing Hello? Where was this? Soka Cruise, there's a Soka Cruise. Oh, like, oh yeah, but okay. Yeah. He was like, well, you sing Hello? And he thought I was some big, big black man and sing <laughs> from Africa. <laughs> yeah. So I thought you were from Nigeria. And da, 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 da. I talked to many people who knew the song mm -hmm. yeah. and didn't know it was me who sang the song and had conversations with me. And I have conversations with them. I just keeping it quiet that I sing the song. I just want to hear what they say. Yeah. And, you know, they play. So that song, I realized, stepped beyond the soca realm, mm. but still remained very very rooted mm -hmm. in the feeling of soca yeah and i felt i feel like that's case and people thought you were nigerian <laughs> from the style of yeah. the soca yeah. it was yeah. a little more afrobeat than yeah. yes. than um calypso yes. you know so 
you know so it's like all those weird i was like wow this song is really doing different things mm -hmm. you know than so there's a sound you know true that, and you say that people love the core of it that's what you, you mentioned earlier like you know like people yeah. love it the like swing the, yeah. yeah you know i always think so because like 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 clothes like music in general the, 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 you are of service you are providing costumes for a night for people so they have a box of costumes with a box of songs i feel like I f i'll take this song i can put it on yeah. and wear it and it's me you know and once you give people that a whole mm -hmm. look even patrice roberts they drink water and mind my business mm -hmm. everybody understand what i mean yes yeah. yeah. so you will see jay you know you see yeah. jay drinking yeah and singing mm -hmm. playing it's, you know because Sure, and it, I, and it, that's how the gym soccer. girls um, took yeah. them drink their water. Well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's Do they pure. mind their business? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Very universal. Yes. So, um, so, yeah, so to me, is, yeah, that essence is, yeah. is the thing. Right, bite for your dreams like Mike Just shoot, cause you must see something out of the sky Yeah, I know that 